Are you looking for inexpensive but nutritious backpacking breakfast ideas that don't require dehydration? In this video, I'll show you my trail proven recipes. Here's what we're going to cover. We'll start with a breakfast I've used since my earliest backpacking days in Minnesota. Grape nuts with Neato powdered milk. Then we'll have a quick look at an option I never use. Prepackaged breakfasts from the grocery or outdoor store. Next are grocery foods that with a simple addition and maybe some repackaging can be great trail meals. My Grape Nuts breakfast is an example of this. Lastly, we'll have a look at beefing up some of these recipes with extra ingredients to get better calories and nutrition. I've been eating sweetened grape nuts with Neato full fat powdered milk on the trail for about a dozen years. It is compact and indestructible in your pack, filling and supplies great nutrition to start your day. It seems like an obvious solution, but I see very few people eating this on the trail. This is a very cheap meal. It comes out to about 75 cents per day, and you'll need to buy about 10 meals at a time, but you can eat it at home too. This breakfast packs a wallop. It comes in at over 500 calories, a good dose of fat from the Neato, and a healthy amount of fiber, which is not easy to get in most backpacking meals. Assembling this meal is really easy. Start with a quart Ziploc bag and turn the seal inside out to make it easy to load. We'll use three quarters of a cup of grape nuts, which is one and a half servings, according to the box. And my wife just happens to have a measuring cup for three quarters of a cup. Put the grape nuts in the bag, then a quarter cup of Neato powdered milk. Then add a heaping tablespoon of sugar. I like using turbinado sugar for the caramel taste. I've been using Starbucks Instant Via Coffee lately, and I put the packet right in the cereal bag so I have my whole breakfast together in one place. Zip up the bag and you are good to go. Meal prep in the backcountry is simple. Pour into a bowl, Add water to cover, give a couple of stirs, and you are ready to eat. Though letting the chia seeds soak a few minutes makes them easier to digest. So how does it taste? Pretty darn good. Grape nuts contains barley, so I like to think of it as crunchy morning beer. Using Neato really makes a huge difference. It has a richness that non-fat dried milk doesn't come close to. I happen to like grape nuts, but if you are not a fan, maybe try one of the many types of granola out there. Just bag it up with a little Neato powder and you have breakfast. Granola can be very high in fat, which is good or bad depending upon how many fat calories you are looking for on the trail. The easiest way to provision your breakfast is to buy a complete meal from an outdoor store like REI or from your grocery. Let's have a very brief look at what your options might be, though honestly, I've never gone this route due to the high cost and packaging weight. There are tons of meal choices in your outdoor store, from eggs to cereal. Be wary of the servings per package. You'll be hungry when hiking, and it isn't hard to eat two servings. Some meals even include chemical heaters, so you don't need to bring your stove. But they are more costly, way more, and you have to pack out more garbage. Expect to pay between $5 and $9 per package. Here's an example. $7 for a big serving of oatmeal. Pretty spendy. The good news is there are some healthy choices that include good stuff like hemp and chia, but later I'll show you how to mix up your own for a lot less. Now let's head to the grocery. Everybody knows and loves Quaker oatmeal packets. They are nutritious and a great value. They're even available in a low sugar version. If you shop the sales, you can get these for as little as 15 cents a packet. Generic versions may be available at your grocery store, which are very reasonably priced. Consider that you'll need three to four packets of oatmeal to equal the Grape Nuts breakfast nutrition content. How about Trader Joe's? They have lots of healthy stuff. Trader Joe's has a small selection of prepackaged oatmeal. It's spendy at about 45 cents a packet, 
but they fortify it with all kinds of fiber goodness. Remember to pack some Nido, as this does not contain any powdered milk, unlike the Quaker option we looked at previously. Nutritionally, it's not much better than Quaker oats. You still need three to four packets to equal the calories, fat, and fiber from the grape nuts. Trader Joe's also has a selection of flavored prepackaged instant organic oatmeal, if that trips your trigger. Let's switch gears and look at buying cereals in bulk instead of individual packets and packaging them up with additional ingredients for more flavor and nutrition. We'll start out by revisiting my favorite grape nuts and adding chia seeds and protein powder. I buy chia seeds in bulk and about two tablespoons in a bowl of cereal provides a good amount of omega-3s and fiber. I also buy vanilla protein powder in bulk from Costco and one scoop gives me enough protein to nourish me until dinner. The cheapest option is to buy quick cook oats in bulk from your grocery store. The price on this is just impossible to beat. Be a little wary of the nutrition and serving size numbers on the oatmeal packaging. I normally cook up one cup of dry oats or two servings, which according to the packaging should only be about 80 grams. But when I measure it out, it comes out to about 4 ounces, which is 113 grams. Packaging up your own oatmeal is about as easy as cold cereal. Measure out your oatmeal, add the needle, and a heaping tablespoon of brown sugar. I like to add a scoop of vanilla protein powder for an extra boost. You'd think you could just dump it in with the oatmeal, but don't do it. If you add boiling water to whey protein, it congeals into a glob. Package it up separately in a small Ziploc bag and add it to the oatmeal after it has cooled a little bit. If you can boil water, you can make your own oatmeal on the trail. Heat about two cups to a boil. This is a little extra for the protein powder. Add the oatmeal. Heat for just a few seconds to bring back to a boil, then let it rest for a few minutes before adding the protein powder. Total prep time for me was about six minutes. Consider adding fruit to your hot or cold cereal for extra flavor. Trader Joe's has a nice selection of freeze-dried fruit, but it's a little expensive. You can also find dehydrated fruits at most grocery stores, but you may need to snip that into smaller pieces. Nuts are a great way of adding fat and fiber to your breakfast. Walnuts are a great choice. Nut butters can be added to hot oatmeal. Trader Joe's mixed nut butter is tasty, but a little soupy to package up in small portions. Ghee is a tasty but expensive option for adding flavor and fat to hot cereals. You can make your own if you're ambitious for a lot less than the grocery versions. This video was not meant to be prescriptive, but rather to spark ideas for you to create your own tailored breakfasts. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you could click like or subscribe to my channel.